hello good day ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel in this video guys today i'm going to guide you guys how to fee the payout transfer for facebook meta and this is a challenge that a lot of people have been facing and to be able to feel it they are so confused that they can't understand how to feel it and some of them feel it and it got rejected by a simple mistake which i'm going to tell you guys in this video and the reason why it got rejected a lot of people give this service out to people that help them to do it and they get paid for it and that is service which i also provide um social media service and all that but in this video today i have decided to expose this out share this with you guys how to fill it and without mistake and when you follow this step i'm going to show you guys today you are not going to be rejected while your transfer is going to be successful with no issue see the document we have here that i'm going to fill here the pdf documents i will give you guys the link to download the documents in the video description so you can see here we have I think around two pages you can see we have around two pages of this document and every of this document have session by session you can see here we have the first page the first page has only two place two columns to fill and why the second one have a lot of column to fill so which has part one part two and part three that we're going to fill so i'm going to explain how to fill these documents in a correct way for you guys now since you have opened these documents let's say you have downloaded the document you have opened it or if you have not able to open it we don't want to listen to the video so you can understand it then you go ahead and fill it so what you're going to do here is to come to the document on this place where you see transfer here transfer of the payout source okay this particular session is asking you to bring let's say who owned this account first which id owned this account first do you understand so in this particular place now what you're going to do is this place i mark yellow you are going to do it in two ways the name the name here that is your name then on this second session let's in this place you put your name then you put this side this side the transfer id i hope you understand me your name and the transfer id now the names we are talking about here is not your facebook account name is the page name if you are talking if you are transferring page or application that is the name you are going to put here so it's going to be the business name that you're using which is the page or the id so name and the id I hope you understand on this bottom here transferring transferring payout account name hmm? that your payout account the name on the payout the name under your payout account is going to be here that's what is going to be this place here <clears throat> hmm? i hope you guys understand that is what is going to be on this particular spot so let's move now we have done with the first page i told you guys you don't have much work now let me move down this is where the major work is hmm? This is where the major work because here are where a lot of people got it wrong. At this session here now, you see transfer payout account ID. Now when you go to your page, you will see your account ID. You see the payout account ID on your page. You're going to see the payout account ID. So that payout account ID, if you have, since you have two, you see there is first one for the other one and the second one you, you, see, you are going to see the one that has issue or whatever the reason that makes you make that make you to want to transfer it. You see the two of them have different 
unique payout ID. I think it's around, it's usually 15 digits if I'm not mistaken. So we are going to put that payout ID here. Hmm? You see, transfer account, transfer payout account ID. So we are going to put it here. I hope you understand me. This place. Now, you are going to come to this place and then put the name here. And you can see it's here for that. They're telling you company name on the file. So, you are going to put that page, the name here. I hope you understand me. Now, here now, <coughs> financial administration name. This place let me mark this. All right. So at this particular place now, you are going to put the financial administration name here and which person is that financial administration is you your facebook name You are going to put your Facebook name, that is the Facebook you are using, your Facebook account, the original name on that Facebook account that own that page. That is the name you are going to put here. Do not do mistake. That is the name you are going to put here. If you put any other thing for that name, your application will be rejected. Now, at this signature session here, this signature session, it must be handwritten or a digital print, which usually cause issue so what i recommend because some people come down here and then some people come to this session here and then type their name and when they type their name they take it as a signature facebook will reject the application you do not accept it you need to use pen and write your original signature in this form if his name that you are using as a signature, you need to use pen and write it. After you have done all that, people will say, after I have done all that, how do I get the PDF back to upload? It is very simple. After you have done all that, what you need to do is to go and scan the document and upload. Meanwhile, I will also show you guys another way to fill it without downloading or printing it out. This session here, you are going to put your date. You can see here, the date. Because when you sign the signature, which date do you sign the signature? You are going to put it here. I hope you are following the video. Now, this session here, what I'm going to feel here is who is receiving the account? Which payout is receiving it? The details of that payout that is receiving it, you are going to put it here. So that payout account ID that is receiving it, you are going to put it here. The, the name, you are going to put it here. Now, you are going to put your own name again and sign this, sign, uh, uh, this place here again for the uh, financial administration. You are going to put it here and here you are going to sign as well. So, you are going to sign as well. This is your financial administration. Here, you are going to sign. Now, the final step is this session here. 
this session here people say pay out id source how how very simple what you're going to do here is are you transferring facebook page or are you transferring facebook application in this case you are transferring facebook page the facebook page name you're going to put it here you're going to put the facebook page name here now what are you transferring let's say now you are transferring for um, the idea of the payout account sorry this session here okay let me mark it let me take account to mark this session all right so i'm unable to mark this session so <clears throat> this session here you can see my uh, let me just do it this way okay so if you understand that i'm talking about here so in this session here you are going to put the name why you come to this session here in this feed you are going to put the id in this feed so the id is what you're going to put here and here the product type what are you transferring are you transferring in stream ads are you transferring ad on re are you transferring are you transferring add or re are, we, are you transferring um, what the other one is called content monetization or are you transferring um, star so whatever you are transferring you are going to list them at this feed so let's say usually for a lot of people these days you have content monetization which i think is called partner I've forgotten the name it called though, but when you go to the payout sales, you click the the content monetization. You are going to see the name, and that is the name we are going to put here. Not content monetization. You understand? There's not. The, it is not called content monetization. So in this in in, in reface, you see that content. It called content monetization, but when you click it, Facebook does not call it content monetization on their own end. So you click on it, you are going to see it. Then you write it here. So you are going to write those in this particular feed here and that is how to fill this form after you have done all that what's next is to submit this form for submit this form for them to review this form and get back to you sometimes it take 12 hours and sometimes it take 24 hours 72 hours it depends on your luck okay so now i'm going to move to another step of guiding you guys how to fill it without downloading this particular pdf so what i'm going to do right now is to go to my canva i believe canva is free and a lot of you have canva because canva is very free it's free 100 free to use or let's say 50 percent free to use and 50 percent paid let me just put it that way but in this particular case canva will do the work for you perfectly so two tools we need to achieve this goal canva and png remover if you're using Ca but if you're using canva pro you don't need png remover okay but if you're not using canva pro you need png remover and which is free as well so what we're going to do right now is to upload our document so just come down to this upload media here then you click select file come down to the pdf and upload the PDF it's uploading all right you can see it here it has uploaded so I'm going to click it to open it loading that's it all right <coughs> now i have opened it with canva so let me increase it i see our first form here 
So here now I can be able to type on this particular form. I can type on it. You see? So let's say I'm I'm putting the payout ID here. I'm going to write understand. So I'm putting the the name here. I'm going to write So you can write on top here. Now you can also place your signature here. So after you have written your signature with pen, you go to PNG Remover. So let me look for where. Just go to B PNG Remover. If you just type BNG, you are going to see it. You can just go to remover.bng to upload the signature you sign. So, when you upload the signature you sign here, you are going to download it as a transparent background. So, you go to your Canva, come down to your Canva here. Oh, sorry, I've mistakenly removed it. But you just go to your Canva and place it on the signature session, and that is it. You can actually print it. You can now send it as a PDF here, just download it back as a PDF and upload. But when you are doing it, be careful so it does scatter everything. So you do it carefully. So that is another way for those of you that are lazy to go and print and sign and then um, scan it and copy it as PDF back. So that is another way to go about it. But the best recommendation is for you to manually do everything and forget about bypassing time and all that do it manually and get the good result that will be very very okay by me and by by me and my facebook team yes because in that case now you are going to rewrite everything with pen your the id and all that and they will see the authenticity on it like yeah this person is genuine is real so that will help them to approve you faster way so that is the best recommendation but now let's move on how do i upload it after i have done all this because that is another challenge how do you upload it so i'm going to see if i will enter in of my page and just use for example so let me go and check for any page and i will get back to you guys shortly